Hi, this is Carrie from the online English school, EnglishDumb.com. This week I'm going to talk with you about living abroad. Living abroad means living in a different country from where you were born or raised. For example, I was born and raised in the United States, but I'm currently living in Mexico. So we say I'm living abroad. People live abroad for many reasons. Some people do it to study abroad for a little while, a semester or a year of university. Some people live abroad for their jobs. They've been transferred or they work for a government agency that has an embassy in another country. Some people live abroad as a retirement option. Maybe retirement is too expensive in their own country and they retire to another country that's less expensive or even warmer. Another reason to live abroad is to volunteer. Many people in the Peace Corps, for example, live abroad for a year or more as they're volunteering, building villages in Africa or building schools in the Middle East, for example. There are many reasons to live abroad. For me, it was just to experience a new culture, to learn a language, to find out how people live in another country rather than just being a tourist. But there's also some differences. Uh, there's different ways of thinking, different ways of doing things, different educational systems, different ways of managing how you pay your bills or how to rent an apartment or buy property, buy a car. There's many different experiences awaiting you if you choose to live abroad. Some things that are involving red tape between countries or between governments have to deal with passports, visas, permission to travel back and forth between countries. Um, if you get married or decide to have children, you have to deal with a lot of red tape with that. Some phrases that you can use when you're talking about living abroad are long term or short term. You have to decide whether your plans are long term, will it be for a year or more, or short term for a temporary situation. Another term that's often used with people who live abroad is expats, meaning expatriates, people who no longer are residing in the country from which they're from. Technically the word means you've withdrawn from your country or even been banished from your country. But casually, it just means you're living in another country. That's a little bit different than the word patriot, which is someone who feels a strong connection or strong love for their country. Culture shock is one thing that many people experience when they live abroad. If you're visiting a place for more than a few weeks, you tend to experience culture shock. That's feelings of being confused or surprised when you're in a place where people things do differently than what you're used to. Another term that was new for me is a culture vulture. Someone who's very keen or excited to see and experience the arts, theater, literature, music, etc. And a saying that we have in Spanish that we also use in the United States, mi casa es su casa. This means that you're welcome in my home anytime. My house is your house or my home is your home. And in the United States we use that kind of superficially. It's a welcome for people to visit you at your home. But of course by making plans first and confirming plans. In Mexico if you say it, someone just might take you up on it. They might show up on your doorstep and stay for a while. You never know what's going to happen down here. So have you ever lived abroad or studied abroad or considered working abroad for a while? Have you actually done it? Please join us in one of our discussion groups or in the forum on our Facebook page to share your experiences. We hope to hear from you soon. Feel English and feel free. Bye for now.